So this is my dirty old, paint-covered old, lazy old Susan. I thought I'd get a new one uh, for doing my pottery on. I actually tried to clean this one up, but I didn't have that much success getting the paint off. I was looking for a new one, and when searching on eBay, I searched for sculpting wheels, but I was tending to find that a lot of the stuff coming up was kind of plasticky, often looks like cake stands, a bit too raised for my personal tastes. And these plasticky things, I've had some of these in the past, and they aren't too great. They're not that, they're a bit, they're not, sometimes a bit stiff. This one's good and loose mind. Look at this, this is not to be scoffed at. You ever see a lazy Susan that'll put you in a spin? But anyway, I uh, wanted something a bit more weighty. This is very lightweight plastic. See how it's got the thing in the middle? When I used to have something heavy on it, on large, it would sometimes tilt. I ended up using this for putting paintings on to turn paintings. I wanted a new one. I couldn't find the one I wanted. When I looked for a pottery wheel, they're even more expensive. Again, you're getting into silly money then. Um, so I decided I'm going to make my own. So here's what I did. So I've got this aluminium... Lazy Susan, which I got cheap off eBay, I think it was about a tenner. It's got a bit of a wobble on. So I'm hoping that'll kind of even out once the weight's been on it. 12 inch wooden chopping board, uh, which also has a nice pink trim for some reason. And this is a 10 inch Lazy Susan. I used this pen to draw these black bits on these, and then I kind of lined it up and plopped it on here where I want it. Might be slightly off, but hopefully that won't cause too many issues. I'm now going to use my Dremel to Dremel these bits using this tool. I want to make sure all the uh, these holes are the same depth, so like any self-respecting woodworksman, I've uh, constructed this out of Lego, like a grown-up. It uh, goes through about that much. Not a great deal, but uh, enough for the little feet to get a grasp in there. I'm going to try and just drill the hole slightly and then find it and just finish it off using this to stop it going too deep. Let's see if this works. it's wood so I suppose it would. Alright so yeah there's the holes I had to actually make them a bit bigger using a different head on the Dremel drill. They work pretty well but I want to make I want to secure them in place using this. I've applied some Milliput into those uh, grooves I made pushed this on and then I've also put a few little bits of Milliput in here. Kind of hard to see, it's not the neatest job, but that's all that matters. Going to try and lube this up a bit using this. Alright, all that remains to do now is to try it out. Still got a bit of a wobble, so I hope that that will sort itself out. I have considered adding some rubberized resin to these uh, feet here to make it a bit more stable. But I can't really be bothered. I'm going to see if it will just settle itself out. Perhaps it will uh, work to my advantage that I can move it. As you can probably notice, because I didn't attach this to the centre of the board, it spins at a bit of a funny angle. But it will do the job. Now I can finally get sculpting. And uh, I'm a particularly... Looking forward to trying out these tools. These are custom made tool sculpting tools and rakes that the chap makes out of uh, guitar wire. And he even turns the wood himself. So this is the guy's Instagram, Old Monstrosity Shop. Check him out. But yeah, they look really beautiful tools. I haven't actually used them yet, so I'm excited to try them out.
if you want to get some made yourself, drop him a message. He makes these custom made to your own needs. I've got this rake made here, rather a larger one, but one end slightly firmer than the other. And these micro tools, which will be great for my model making. And I'm going to be using this stuff, Monster Clay. I went for the firm one, or hard, which I slightly regret. Uh, it's pretty, it is pretty firm, this stuff. If you were getting it yourself for making sculptures, I would suggest getting the medium. See, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. A bit more sturdy than those plastic things that you can get off eBay. And a bit cheaper as well. Just a bit more fanny on to make. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let's just give this one more go.